Hello, everyone. My name is Steve. These are my teammates, Damon, Sam, and Bogdan, and we're Bombonauts. Bombonauts is an online multiplayer 3D first person shooter, and it was inspired by many games such as Minecraft, Doom, and of course the classic 2D Bomberman. Each of our multiple battle arenas in the game can hold up to four players, and you can move around by using your bombs to blow up boxes, which are randomly generated on the map at the start of each game. But of course, the real objective of the game is to use your bombs to blow up other players and to be the last player standing. We've also included several fun features in our game, such as a persistent scoreboard and chat functionality. And now Damon will talk about how we rendered the game itself. Thanks. Hello, everyone. Uh, so we use 3.js uh, for our 3D rendering, Canon.js uh, for our as our physics engine, and uh, React for our interactive UI. Uh, so 3.js allowed us to really develop a very dynamic and immersive 3D world, and uh, Canon.js as our physics engine allowed us to develop complex game features like rolling a bomb around a corner and allowing bombs to bounce off other bombs. And uh, we used React to uh, manage complex uh, components that constantly change state, such as our chat system and announcement system. Um, up next is Sam to talk about our game's architecture. Thanks, Damon. So Bombonauts runs on a node server in the back end and uses Socket IO for our multiplayer implementation. Uh, we ran into a number of challenges in keeping the game performant and lag free, even with a large number of players in different game rooms. So we managed to overcome this by only sending the minimal positional data for players and their bombs to the servers, which really kept our game performant even with a large number of simultaneous players. And Barton's going to talk a little bit more about this. Hi, everyone. Uh, so for us, managing our uh, complex game state proved to be a very significant uh, challenge uh, because uh, of a number of rooms, rooms that we have. Uh, but we approached this problem by uh, using a React architecture. Uh, also, right now we're using two Redux stores, one on client and on the server side. And uh, this allowed us to manage and uh, efficiently update our uh, complex game state. Also, uh, test-driven uh, development um, uh, helped us a lot to clarify and self-document our state. Uh, we're really excited for everyone to check out our game at bomberjs.herokuapp.com. We really look forward to continue working on our project and to push out some new features in the coming weeks. And on behalf of all of us at Bombonauts, we really hope our game helps make the world a better place. Thank you.